Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from EWWarehouse.info. Uh, today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install a mod in TW2013. Uh, the first step you're going to want to do is to go to the EWWarehouse.info website and once there click on mod index and go to the TW2013 option. As you can see the there's a pretty good amount of mods out already. Uh, for the sake of this mod, we will download 1994 by Hive. So what you're going to want to do is click on the download link. This is for the data. And then you're going to want to download the pictures and graphics. And once your files have finished downloading, you're going to want to go to your downloads folder or wherever you save your files to. <clears throat> um, right click and extract all on the data files and we'll just minimize this for a second and we'll work on the database for the first part so go to your TW2013 directory wherever you installed the game and in, you're going to want to launch TEW 2013. You're going to want to go to the editor and then click create database. We'll name this one 1994 since that's the year that this one takes place. Say create. And it says the new database has been created and you've automatically been switched to it. Alright, you're going to want to exit TEW 2013 now. In your TW 2013 directory, click on Databases, and you'll see 1994 is now showing up, the one that you just created. Double click on that, go back to the Mod folder in your download section, and you're going to want to highlight these. The README isn't really necessary, but you might want to keep it with your database just if you need it for reference. You're going to grab these and you're going to drag them over. Make sure you say yes to overwrite the files and move and replace you're going to also want to say yes. All right. You can close out the folder where the 1994 database files that you downloaded were. And launch TW once again. Go back into the editor, edit database, and click on database info, and you can see that the data has been added from the mod that you just downloaded. And that's all you need to do for the first part. Now the second part, we're going to want to install the graphics and the worker pictures. So exit TW once again. Go back to your downloads folder, and you're going to want to extra extract the graphics that you downloaded. And once your files have finished extracting, you're going to uh, <clears throat> click into the folder. Get there until you see this listing of different folders here. You're going to want to select all of these. You can hold shift and click the bottom one, hold shift, then click the top folder and it will highlight all of those for you. Go back into your TW 2013 directory and double click on the pictures folder and then double click on the 1994 or whatever you have named your database and you can see that these are all here these are the folders we're going to overwrite with the ones we just downloaded so go back to your downloads folder with the graphics and drag them over into the TEW directory once again you're going to want to say yes for overwriting And I'll pause it here while this overwrites, and I'll join back up in a sec. 
Okay, so now that you've dragged and overwritten the files into the TW database, you can exit out of all of the downloads folders that could be open. <clears throat> and then what you want to what you want to do is go back and run TW again. And go back into the editor. We just want to check and make sure that things are showing up. Click Edit Database. And we'll go to the Workers folder, or Workers option. Uh, double click on someone. And it doesn't look like uh, they're showing up. So what we're, what we're going to do is go back up to Database Info right here. And make sure that the Picture folder is set to the, whatever you've named your database. This is set incorrectly right now. It's on the 1983, so I'm going to move it over to 1994 and hit save. Make sure you do that or you could have problems with pictures showing up, obviously. Go back into workers and let's see if that made the difference. And as you can see, it has. The pictures are now showing up. If you want to try to start a new game, <clears throat> you can see how the graphics look and make sure your mod is running correctly. I'm just going to name this one Test. And the different mods you download, it depends on the size. Some of them take a lot longer than the default database does to load. Others take around the same time. It just depends on the mod maker and how much is in your in the mod you're using. <clears throat> and I'm just going to randomly select someone. It doesn't really matter for test purposes. And as you can see, we now got the WWF, World Championship Wrestling, and their graphics are showing, so it looks like everything's installed correctly. This has been another tutorial from EW Warehouse. Thanks for joining.